Dennis decided to show his teammates how it should be done. Gathering the ball in his own half, he charged downfield, straight through the middle of the Hearts defence, before letting loose a shot which Nicky Walker tipped over. Dennis came about as close at the other end three minutes later. Good work on the edge of the box by Hearts' Tommy Harrison saw the ball finish at the feet of Justin Fashionu, and his effort spun off Dennis and dropped behind for a corner with keeper Scott Thompson beaten. Wraith Rovers had a great chance to take the lead after 18 minutes. Gordon DL slipped the ball through to Ali Graham, who really should have done better. But the home fans had only four minutes to wait for a reason to celebrate. John McStay's free kick nodded down by Ali Graham to Peter Heatherston, who took his chance well. 1-0 to Wraith Rovers after 22 minutes, and that's how it stood at the break. Three minutes after the restart, Ian Ferguson, back on his old stamping ground, did well to get by Jason Robotham, but his finish didn't cause Scott Thompson too many problems. Wraith Rovers were still upsetting the Hearts' defence. With nine minutes gone in the second half, Jimmy Nicholl found Peter Heatherston out in the right, and he forced a good save from Nicky Walker. A Tosh McKinley free kick nearly produced the equaliser for Hearts, but Scott Thompson saved Alan McLaren's header. And that was as close as Hearts were to get to a leveller. Indeed, it was Wraith who came near to grabbing another goal eight minutes from time, but substitute Colin Cameron scooped the ball over. Wraith, though, held on to the 1-0 win. I've never had a break. I can honestly say, in all the games we've played, we've never had the wee break that it's went for us. Any time the ball's bounced in the box and there's a ricochet, it's all send up the back of your net. We've never had that. Today we've got a wee bit of wee break and hopefully now in the second quarter it's going to change for us. But it's going to be hard. We know it's going to be hard. But we know if anybody comes to Kirkcaldy, they've got to fight for everything to go away with anything from here. 